if you understand copywriting you can literally sell anything to anybody hey guys in this video i'm going to be sharing some copywriting tips and hacks for business owners or people who want to sell online now if you know how social media works you would know that for you to be able to sell you need to do a lot of psychology a lot of work and especially with your words whether written words or spoken words these are the kind of things that we use to sell like this video like text like the post you make on social media these are things that get people to either say okay i want to buy or no i do not want to buy now there are set of people that sell out on social media and there are others who struggle to sell and today i'm going to be drawing the line but here's my promise if you listen to every single thing i'm going to teach you right now and not just listen you practice them your sales is going to go up a notch you're not going to be like every other person who is just posting available in size 10 who's just posting um price nothing serious see your words can make people say i'm buying or i'm not buying and that is what we call copywriting your ability to sell with words you should be able to write copies that get people to say send your account details how do i make payments this is my receipt that's what you want to be hearing and that depends on the kind of copy you write and also the kind depends on the kind of script you write for your videos too because even the video ads you do you have to script it well so that people can listen to it and say i am interested how do i buy how do i make payment so if you're interested in learning this you have something you want to sell you want to learn how to sell or even want to offer this as a service to people and get paid copywriters are one of the highest paid people in digital marketing even in the tech world so pay attention while i share about five copywriting hacks with you that will take your copies from zero to hundred real quick let's get straight into it my name is favor kem Jokoro, and on this channel i teach you marketing sales and tips that can help you live a highly profitable life all around so let's get straight into it here are some copywriting hacks that would help you when next you're writing a copy that would help you make more sales and convert better hack number one your headline your starting sentence what is it like it should be able to catch attention it should be able to hook people in to get them to listen to what you are saying you don't just start anyhow how do you start your copies how do you start your captions especially when you are trying to sell now let me give you a tip when you're starting your headline imagine that there's a crowd and you need to call those people out you need to call out your customers how do you do it do you just come and say i have a product for sale guys so that's what most of us do this this bag is available in black is that going to make anybody turn and say who's there so imagine that you're reading this out loud that's one of the tips that will help you in copywriting imagine you're going to have to read this out loud to people is anybody going to turn or what is the percentage of people that will turn when they hear that opening sentence that first sentence now let me give you three types of opening sentences that work like magic that can get people turning online and offline the first one is call out your audience call out the people you're trying to sell to i can start with saying are you a business owner hey dear business owners hey fashionistas call it all makeup artists once i do something like this everyone who is a makeup artist in the hall is going to do yes they're going to turn and they want to hear what it is about them so call out the people your product is made for hey moms hey dads once you start like that you're already getting their attention and if you want to spice it up compliment them hey extraordinary moms who are raising powerful children and they turn like yes yeah, that's me so you should behave like you're talking to people when you're writing your copies don't just behave like you're writing write the way you speak behave like you're talking to people so that's the first one you can call out the people you want to sell to so ask a question ask a question that's that is their problem or ask a question that you know that people are currently asking so i could start my copy like this are you struggling to make sales on social media here are copywriting tips for you so moment i start with are you struggling to make sales on social media every single person who is struggling to make sales is going to turn it's going to stop their scrolling and say oh this is for me so i ask the question that is pressing them have you been trying to lose weight without no results everybody who has been trying to lose weight is going to stop their scroll and see it do you get it now so ask a question that's another headline that could work remember we're still in the first point the third and final headline i'm going to be sharing with you is use a negative headline which is telling them to stop something or telling them that something is wrong this will catch their attention real good so i can say stop watching tvs it's going to destroy your eyes and everyone's like really i never knew that or i can say drinking water is very bad for your health here's why i have caught the attention like really 
so that is another type of headline you can use and that's point number one using a headline the second thing you can do to spice up your copies and make your copywriting interesting is to write the way you speak avoid bogus words avoid words that will take people to the dictionary write like you're talking to a friend Let, just imagine that your friend is sitting right here and you want to pitch or you want to sell the product to the person don't try to sound too salesy that's where you lose the sale so write like you want to gist your friend about this product what would you say to your friend this product is this that this that say it like that write the way you speak because those people are reading it like they are listening to you the brain is converting those texts to sounds in their head and if it does not rhyme they're not going to take you seriously the third trick you can add to make your copies stand out is to speak to one person at a time most of us i had a copywriter one time who was working with me and i had to correct this thing about her so many times and then she would always argue like but the people in the group are plenty they are plenty but they are not sitting down in one place and they're not listening to you at the same time when you are writing a copy assume that you're just talking to one person and speak to that person directly let me give you an example instead of saying you people should come and buy this bag this bag is so nice it will help you and your girls it will help you people when you people are going out it will help your family you just talk to one person now imagine the person you want to sell to she's a young girl in school who wants to prepare her friends you picture her this is why you need to have your customer avatar you need to know your ideal customer so that you can speak to that person and then you talk to her like and then you start writing hey yes fashionista students are you looking to attend that ashrebi party this weekend but you don't know the kind of bag to carry that will turn heads let me tell you the kind of bag that you should carry don't carry a chanel bag it's so old school carry a gucci bag a gucci bag made and customized with your name is what you need to turn that party upside down and guess what you can get a gucci bag for less than five thousand naira if you make a purchase right now I'm talking to one person and she can absolutely relate to what I'm saying. And of course, you can create a thousand copies talking to different people, but make sure you're talking to one person. Speak like you're talking to one person. Don't imagine you're talking to a crowd because everybody is on their phones reading it individually. They're not in a group, in a hall where you're talking to them. Even right now, as I'm talking, you're watching alone. It's just you watching. And so I'm speaking to you. I'm not going to assume I'm talking to a crowd and say, you people, come and let copyright. No, I'm talking to you, just you. And that is how it, that's how I make it effective. That's how it sounds like I'm in the house with you, but I'm not. Do you get? So speak to one person at a time. Speak to one person at a time. And words that can help you do this, or one word that can help you do this is the word you. Speak to one person, use you well, speak to them and talk to them directly. These are secret hacks that will blow up your sales. Trust me, if you take this seriously, you will not be able to recognize your numbers again. Speak to one person alone. Copywriting tip number four, sell the benefits, not the features. Sell the benefits, not the features. I'm probably sure you've heard this before because this is a common mistake people make when they are trying to sell. What are the benefits? Your benefits are the ways those features apply to the person you are trying to sell to. So now you know the person you are trying to sell to. But then again, how do you sell to this person? By letting them know how the features of that product apply to them. Let me give you examples. Most people, when they are trying to sell a product, they focus on the features. Let's say I'm trying to sell this phone. Most people who just talk about how the phone the screen is clean it cannot break even if you smash it it doesn't break it just um, the back is, is customized it has speed it has 10 cameras it has this that, that that's all they keep on talking about they never tell you how those features apply to your life but the truth is that those people that are reading are asking that question how does this thing apply to my life how does this thing help me they're asking the question and so what and that's the question you need to always answer now let me give you a simple trick you can use to know when you're talking features or benefits are you answering the question and so what this is a strong screen made from metal and so what now here's how i answer it by showing you the benefits this is a strong screen made for metal that even if your child gets hold of this phone and hits it on the ground it stays strong and intact you don't have to think of spending money fixing screens if you buy this phone unlike other brands if you buy other brands in two months your child has played with it or you've had an accident or something has happened and you are looking for 200k to buy a new screen but when you buy this one for two years guarantee you will not buy screen 
have i answered the answer what question so if you're looking if maybe you have five brands in your head you're trying to compare this one has sold you because you know how expensive it is to fix screens but knowing like for two years this screen nothing will happen to it that is answering the benefits question there are other examples let's say i want to talk about the cameras it has three cameras it has for one thousand megapixels or everything and the question they're asking is and so what the answer was is that you don't need to buy a digital camera so I'm going to write that in my copy. You don't need to buy a digital camera as a YouTuber, as a content creator, as a TikToker. All you have, all you need is this phone. You don't even need a flash. You don't need the LED light. All you need is a phone. Do you understand? So I'm answering the question, and so what? You need to bring out those features and then answer the and so what to bring out the benefits out of it. Do you get? So always think of the benefits. Always sell the benefits. Sell the benefits, not the features. Features are basic things. Features are numbers. 13 megapixels, 14 inches, 80 kg. The question is, and so what? How does this thing apply? You need to be able to show the audience how this thing applies to them. This video is getting really long. I have lots of copywriting tips to share, but I don't want this video to get too long. So I'll just share the last one and we'll wrap it up here. Apply urgency and scarcity when you are selling. Copyright tip number five urgency and scarcity people like to buy things when they know that it is scarce when it's about to expire or when the offer is about to expire when it's limited in number so let them know always have urgency always let them know when most times when i put an offer the next people asking me when is it ending because they they like that urgency and that last minute where you see 100 people trying to pay for something so always have urgency let me put on that slots are limited let them know that there is no time always have a time limit always have a time limit because if you give people forever to pay they will take forever to pay i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say so don't always let them know that this thing will always be available let them know that at a certain time the price is going to go up at a certain time the, the stock is going to run out most times when i go to a, a website and i see that out of stock ah, i'm i'm like oh we just have 10 pieces in stock see the way i will rush and place order because i don't want to miss out on this so let them know how many you have remaining so that they can know that this thing is not unlimited whatever available gege is a lie you doesn't work that way let them know you have just hundred pieces and if you keep dulling it will be finishing that's how they know so most times if you, people like to be ginger they like to be you know pushed to take an action and one of the ways you can do that is to let them know that there is no time and let them know that it is scarce urgency and scarcity there are so many more guys as i'm talking it's just coming but we just have to stop here if you want to learn more let me know in the comment section but just go first and apply these ones that i have just taught change your copies your videos your content your caption i hate seeing people make mistakes in their copies and just write bland things this is a business of the hobby take it seriously Kwano. take it seriously so that you can it can also take you seriously please so apply this in your copywriting apply this in your captions apply this on social media let me know what the progress is like if you want more if you want me to do a part two let me also know in the comment section say part two of copywriting training part two of copywriting training, and i'll do more i have thousands of tips i can share with you literally so if you want more let me know in the comment section and of course you can also encourage me to do the part two faster not just by your comments but by sharing this video so please share it share it and let me know that you have shared it will encourage me a lot because i need more people to see this content so share the video subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you for watching i love you don't forget to share very importantly see you in the next one